Hello, my name is Kieran O'Driscoll, and I've been honoured to be asked to re to recite a poem for April is Poetry Month in Limerick. Um, the people who asked me are the Limerick Literary Festival in honour of Kate O'Brien. So here goes. The poem is called Gloss, and it is in fact a gloss or interpretation. It's an interpretation of the last strophe of a famous poem by Wallace Stevens, and deservedly so. It's called 13 Ways of Looking at a Blackbird. I mean blackbird now, not blackboard. So here goes again. Gloss. It was evening all afternoon. It was snowing and it was going to snow. The blackbird sat in the cedar limbs. The blackbird is the place within you which events cannot reach. Like a sound sleep, this place is without coming or going and yet remains in touch with everything that happens. I can't really describe this place. Of course, it's not a place at all. How can a blackbird be a place? The blackbird is in a place among the cedar limbs and is simultaneously a symbol and a blackbird. Keep going. Working on our house, a builder's labourer discovered a bird's nest under the eaves in a rusty gutter. The bird's nest is a bird's nest and also a symbol for the heart. Soul is an ugly word. It has been overused to the point of extinction. Heart isn't far behind. It is better to speak of the blackbird in the cedar limbs. Love has the same problem as soul and heart. And if it hadn't been for the snow and the cedar limbs and the evening which lasted all afternoon, the blackbird in strophe 13 might as well have been a magpie. Keep going. I don't want to keep going because I don't think I can put it clearer than Wallace Stevens. I could bring Zen down on you, or the Tao, hit you with an Upanishad. But you should be reading more, meditating more. What's the point of me telling you when you're not disposed to get the point? And when I say you, I mean me. And when I say me, I mean me. And which me, if any, is the blackbird? Is there a blackbird in me at all? Is there a bird's nest under my eaves? There have indeed been infinite bird's nests, and a lot of them are under eaves, and not a few are in rusty gutters and discovered by builders' labourers. And it's easy to talk the talk, but to walk the walk that leads to the place within, which is not a place at all, or even a blackbird, is a very different matter. Keep going. And love has been known to exist without its name. It has been known to get on fine without its name or any other name. As for the soul, I have issues. And while Psyche is too Greek, beware the Greeks bearing gifts, I have to admit the Psyche sat in the cedar limbs has a certain ring to it. Finish up now. The blackbird was waiting for the poet to finish writing and the prospect of crumbs from his evening afternoon tea. The psyche was waiting for the poet to put the blackbird sitting in the cedar limbs. <laughs>